after five years of the last government who failed to legislate for renters' rights, we are bringing forward our bill within the first 100 days in office, a measure that will change the lives of millions of people. So for them and future generations, I commend this bill to the House. Oh dear. Madam Deputy Speaker, this renters' rights bill will be more chaos. The first time we faced each other across the dispatch box, I warned the Right Honourable Lady that she was being stitched up by the PM and the Chancellor. I also told the Right Honourable Lady that we were here to help and we shall do so, especially as it's been a particularly rough time to be a woman in the Labour Party. Not just Sue Grace Act, soon to be awarded with what Winston Churchill called a disappearage. The Honourable Member for Canterbury also took the brave decision to leave the Labour Party, and I have followed her career in this place closely, and although we do not agree on everything, she is very brave. Point of order. Madam Deputy Speaker, this is debate on the renters' rights uh, second yeah. reading. The Shadow Minister is all over the place. Uh, thank you for that point of order. Um, I am sure that the Shadow Minister will come back to that subject. Shadow Minister. <laughs> I am still on that subject, uh, Madam Deputy Speaker. And so this is what I mean when I say that I worry about the Right Honourable Lady. Because the bright young things in Downing Street who have sent her out with this bill don't care if it fails. They will take the credit today. She will get the blame tomorrow. And what tenants will get is bad regulation, shortages and higher prices, as we have seen in Scotland. Prices that will be paid by tenants, especially young people and the less well-off. 